Welcome to the Organization Resource Group's Administrative Training. You're watching this video because administrative training is a requirement for all recognized student organizations to complete in order to satisfy annual requirements. If at any point you have questions regarding the content of this training, please contact the Organization Resource Group by either emailing us, calling us, or coming to our office in the MU Student Center. You must watch this training in its entirety, as well as pass the administrative training quiz with a minimum score of 80%. So why are you here? Great question. You're here because attendance at administrative training is an annual requirement for recognized student organizations or RSOs. You're here to learn about the organization resource group or orgs rules and university policies. And you're here to learn more about resources and opportunities for RSOs. It's important that RSOs understand who is here to help them, which is why we wanna make sure that you know who the organization resource group or org is. The organization resource group is a part of the Office of Student Engagement and supports student organizations. The organization resource group is a viewpoint neutral group of students dedicated to educating student leaders about university policies and resources, consulting with organizations on how to meet their goals and providing financial assistance through the student activity fee for student organizations. We support all 500 plus RSOs on campus in multiple capacities. A little bit more about ORG. ORG has five student staff members who work to support RSOs through multiple different facets of student organization needs, such as finance, administration, and communication. ORG also oversees the Student Organization Allocation Committee, or SOAC, which is a committee made up of students who help to allocate the funds from the student activity fee by reviewing and approving budget requests from student organizations. Org also works with the Committee for Student Affairs to give recognition to new student organizations and take away recognition from student organizations who do not meet their annual requirements. Last but not least, there is currently one full-time staff member who works to support student organizations on Mizzou's campus. Now, if you haven't already, make sure that you take a look at Org's website, getinvolved.missouri.edu. On this website is where you're gonna find more information about funding, deadlines, travel reimbursements, and other student organization related resources. The next part of today's training is gonna talk through some of the requirements and benefits of recognized student organizations. Please take a moment to scan the QR code on the screen. This QR code will help give you the ability to see the guidelines for recognized student organizations, which is the governing document for our recognized student organizations. It has all of the information that you will need in order to be successful at Mizzou. More information can be found in this document related to annual requirements, funding deadlines slash information, fundraising policies, and other related information. Org advises that you always reference the guidelines first when you have a question. On this slide, you can see some of the benefits of recognition that RSOs can receive if they're in good standing with org. Some of these benefits include having an MU Engage page, getting to reserve university facilities at little to no cost, funding opportunities, and more. Later in this training, we will talk more about the other benefits available to your organization. In order for an RSO to maintain their recognition, they must abide by university policies and procedures. Abiding by the guidelines for recognized student organizations, complete the annual registration process, and attend annual required trainings. The administrative training that you are currently watching is one of those required annual trainings. Another training that your organization might want to go to is org's finance training. Finance training is only required for RSOs who plan to apply for org funding. If your organization does not plan to apply for org funding, then you don't need to attend a finance training. Lastly, if your RSO is classified as a club sport or as a fraternity or sorority life organization, then you might have additional requirements outlined by those offices slash departments. An important aspect of being an RSO at the University of Missouri-Columbia is student empowerment. All RSOs on Mizzou's campus must be student-centered, student-driven, and student-led. Any control by an outside entity, public or private, or a non-student of the university is not permitted. Meaning that if your organization's advisor or anyone that's not a student is trying to make decisions on behalf of the recognized student organization, you should contact the organization resource group and we will help you navigate that situation. Next step is membership and officer requirements. All RSO's members must either be MU students, faculty, or staff, meaning that members must be affiliated with the university in some capacity. 
an RSO's advisor must be full-time benefit eligible 0.75 FTE MU faculty or staff. The advisor must also be local to the MU campus, cannot be a worker at UMSL, SNT, or UMKC, and the advisor cannot be on sabbatical. Advisors or officers must be enrolled in a minimum of six hours per semester, both during the fall and spring semesters, and maintain a minimum 2.2 cumulative GPA. Lastly, no student may serve in any officer level position while on university disciplinary probation for a student conduct code violation. This slide is this slide is explaining that as leaders of your student organizations, you have a responsibility to comply with all university policies individually and as an organization. To determine whether a student organization is responsible for conduct outlined in section 200.010C, all circumstances will be considered, including but not limited to the items discussed in this slide. One example of a student organization resource being used for prohibited conduct is GroupMe's Slack or any other similar platforms being used to distribute test answers or copies of academic papers. If an organization or several members of that organization are using resources in order to engage in unauthorized conduct, then the organization could be found responsible. Please make sure that your organization members understand that their actions can be connected to the student organization. There are many things that are considered violations of the collected rules and regulations. Some of these violations include academic dishonesty, forgery, stalking, and damage of university property. All members of an organization should adhere to the standards of conduct. As representatives of your organization, if more than one individual is found in violation of the following offenses, then the organization may also be at risk for violating the standard of conduct. The University of Missouri Columbia is an equal opportunity and inclusion institution. The university's equal employment education opportunity and non-discrimination policy states that all affiliates and guests of the university should be provided with equal opportunity and inclusion and shall not be discriminated on the basis of race, color, national or origin, ancestry, religion, sex, pregnancy, sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression, age, disability, protected veteran status, and any other status protected by applicable state or federal law. If you are aware or have experienced such violations, you have a duty to report such behavior to the Office of Institutional Equity. The Office of Institutional Equity enforces the university's non-discrimination policies, educates the community about our policies and practices, and connects people to resources that can help support them if they experience discrimination or retaliation and they also listen to the concerns of the campus community. You can find additional information or report an incident by visiting their website at equity.missouri.edu, via email at equity at missouri.edu, or you can call their office. The Office of Institutional Equity provides assistance, works to stop discrimination, and prevent its reoccurrence. They can only provide assistance if information is reported and is everyone's duty as members of the MU community to continue to make Mizzou an equal opportunity and inclusive place for everyone. When working with the Office of Institutional Equity, an individual can decide to file a formal complaint with an investigation and or discuss options, rights, privacy, safety, and conflict resolution for those involved. To determine whether a student organization is responsible for conduct outlined in section 200.010C, all circumstances will be considered, including but not limited to the items discussed in this slide. If you are aware of such violations, you have a duty to report such behavior to the Office of Student Accountability and Support. The Office of Student Accountability and Support carries out the university's educational mission and goals by supporting you as you navigate challenging situations. Student Accountability and Support is responsible for facilitating the conduct procedures for the campus. Please gather the necessary information in order to report an incident. That information is the date of the incident, contact information for those involved, a description of the incident, and the names of those involved. You may also find additional information or report an incident by visiting their website at accountability.missouri.edu. Unfortunately, hazing can occur in any student organization, not just fraternities and sororities. It's important that student organization leaders understand the definition of hazing, which is, hazing is an act that endangers the mental or physical health or safety of a student 
or an act that is likely to cause physical or psychological harm to any person within the university community, community and for that for the purpose of initiation, admission into, affiliation with, or destroys, removes public or private property as a condition for continued membership in a group or organization. Also, something important to consider is that participation or cooperation by the persons being hazed does not excuse the violation and failing to intervene to prevent and or failing to discourage and or failing to report those acts may also violate this policy. If you are aware of hazing, you have a duty to report such behavior to the Office of Student Accountability and Support. Please gather the necessary information in order to report an incident. That information is the date of the incident, contact information for those involved, a description of the incident, and the names of those involved. You may also find additional information or report an incident by visiting the website at accountability.missouri.edu. Many student organizations handle some sort of finances, and it's important to understand how to be responsible when it comes to handling money and or other financial resources. First, RSOs must comply with applicable laws, university policies, and good business practices. Second, neither org, the organization resource group, nor the university assumes any liability for group debts or lost funds. This is because RSOs are considered separate legal entities. If an RSO were to come to org asking for assistance because they lost funds, org would not be able to assist. It's important that organizations are responsible with their finances. Recognized student organizations are required to establish their own bank accounts to handle non-university funds. When establishing a bank account, please make sure to not use the university's tax ID number. Remember, recognized student organizations are separate legal entities, thus they need their own tax ID numbers, if applicable. And recognized student organizations should not include the University of Missouri in the title of the account. This will help to avoid confusion with financial institution of your choice. In most cases, student organization advisors should not be making expenditures, transfers, or other dispositions of funds within student organizations' bank accounts. However, there are some exceptions to this rule. If an advisor needs to interact with the student organization bank account, then they must obtain written approval from the employee supervisor and the vice chancellor for student affairs for each expenditure, transfer, and or other disposition of funds from such accounts that the employee makes. This does not apply to students, only university employees. Other important fiscal elements to, to consider are EINs, tax exemption, and other things. EINs are similar to social security numbers, but they're for groups instead of individuals. You should not be using someone's social security number for an RSO's bank account, as this can cause huge issues down the road. To apply for an EIN, you can visit the IRS website. As for tax exemption, student organizations get to decide whether or not tax exemptions is something they would like to pursue. Org advises that RSOs research the steps and requirements associated with the process to see if it's a good fit for their organization. As a reminder, the organization resource group cannot provide tax advice. Lastly, other financial best practices include separating financial duties to multiple people within the student organization to ensure that all transactions are in accordance with the student organization's goals and missions. Many RSOs on campus engage in fundraising activities, so it's important to understand the policies surrounding fundraising. Fundraising is defined as any revenue generating activity, regardless of whether your organization turns a profit. It is still a fundraiser, whether it is for your group or for an outside entity. Please note that all fundraisers on campus must receive a fundraising approval from the organization resource group. Recognized student organizations can obtain this approval by filling out the fundraising request and event planning form on MU Engage. This form must be submitted at least one week prior to the event to allow for our staff to process the request and make sure that all necessary paperwork and permits are accurate. All event permits must be submitted along with the fundraising request and event planning form, which includes temporary food permits. Fundraisers that occur over multiple days must include room reservation confirmation and event permits reflective of each day. Please note that the student organizations may panhandle on City of Columbia property with appropriate permits, but panhandling and solicitation is prohibited on the Mizzou campus. Now this slide includes examples of unacceptable fundraising events. 
When planning your fundraising event, please make sure that it is not including any of the following. Gambling includes playing games wherein one, player stake or risk something of value, two, chance is a material factor, and three, successful play is rewarded by something of value. If an activity meets two out of three of these characteristics, then the activity is not considered gambling. The organization resource group uses the two-thirds rule when evaluating whether or not an organization's activity is or is not gambling. More information about gambling can be found on the Revisor of Missouri website, and if your organization is still unsure of whether or not the activity could be considered gambling, please contact org and we will be happy to assist. As an RSO, you have the ability to use University of Missouri marks and names. However, you must follow the apparel, merchandise, and promotional guidelines for recognized student organizations, and merchandise must be purchased from licensed vendors. RSOs must also follow the separate and apart rule where the name of the university or a unit within the university must be kept separate and apart from any graphics. Now this slide has some good examples of good and bad logos from student organizations. The good examples in the top row use the Mizzou branding colors well, have unique marks, and use the recognized student organization's official's name. The bottom row shows us some not so great examples of logos. These logos are using university protected marks such as the Athletics Tiger Head and the Stacked MU logo that cannot be used by recognized student organizations and are infringing upon existing trademarks. Please contact the organization resource group to review your logo if you're unsure if your logo meets branding guidelines. As your RSO is hosting an event on campus, please take some of these things into consideration. If the event is held in a location where restroom facilities are not available, the sponsoring organization is responsible for providing such facilities. The total number of individuals participating in a function held in any university building must not exceed the designated capacity of the facility. Any and all facility specific regulations must be followed. If food products are to be prepared or served in conjunction with an event, the student sponsoring organization must consult with the MU Sanitarian and obtain a temporary food service operating permit. The food permit applies to people serving pizza at meetings, selling baked goods, et cetera, but it does not apply if a student is bringing their own food slash drinks to an organization event or meeting. If open flames are going to be used in conjunction with an event, the student organization sponsoring the event must obtain an open flame permit from MU Environmental Health and Safety. The use or possession of any alcoholic beverage is prohibited on all university property, except in specific residences in buildings on Mizzou's campus. If your organization wishes to host an event on campus with alcoholic beverages, please contact the office of reservation and events to learn more about which spaces are available and what requirements must be met. Please note that the use or possession of alcoholic beverages must follow all federal, state, and local laws. More information can be found in the Collected Rules and Regulations, section 110.050. If an RSO needs a street close for any event or any other reason, street closures must be approved by both the University of Missouri and the City of Columbia. Requests should be submitted 30 to 90 business days prior to the event. Please plan ahead when considering street closures as there is typically no double booking. To start the process, please fill out the street use or closure request form. Preserving spaces on campus for little to no cost is a benefit of being recognized. However, there are some exceptions where RSOs are responsible for the costs incurred. Some of those exceptions include any equipment slash facility rentals, security, damages, and insurance. Student organizations may not show or exhibit copyrighted materials, including movies, music videos, and other things on campus without first receiving the appropriate rights and permissions, which can be obtained by contacting org, who will help you facilitate the process. Organizations must obtain a copy of the screening license and provide the organization resource group with a copy before the material can be shown. Organizations may desire to seek support of an outside organization or business that is not a part of the university. The university realizes that other entities can and do make an important contribution to the activities of student organizations. When hosting an event with assistance from an outside organization, please keep in mind the following. 
The RSO is the one in collaboration with the outside organization. The university shall not be used for commercial or promotional advertising purposes, nor should the name of the university be identified in any way with the aims, policies, programs, products, or opinions of any organization or its members, unless an exception has been explicitly made by university officials. And a commercial business may contribute assistance for approved student organization events or activities held on or promoted on the campus. However, a commercial business may not sponsor or co-sponsor activities of student organizations. The difference between these two sentences is frequency. An event or a series of events sponsored or co-sponsored by a business is okay. However, a business sponsoring a majority of the organization's business is essentially the business operating a student organization on campus which we call fronting, which is always a no-no. As of June 1st, 2017, the following six university policies related to free expression at Mizzou became effective. First, university buildings and grounds are intended for use by students, faculty, and staff in support of the university's mission of teaching, research, service, and economic development. Individuals, groups, or organizations may use university buildings and grounds in accordance with the university rules and regulations. Second, any organization planning to use an illumination device in circumstances where uncertainty exists about whether the planned use will fall within the permissible use is encouraged to apply for a written permit. Permissible illuminated devices include general purpose flashlights, smartphone flashlights, bike lights, motor vehicle lights, string lights, light ropes, and camera flash devices. Third, sound and amplification devices are not allowed unless a permit for the use is obtained or the sound of sound amplification devices falls within an exception. Fourth, camping is not permitted on university grounds or in under in or under university structures or in university buildings except under approved circumstances. Please note that most of the circumstances on this screen require approval beforehand. Fifth, the posting of flyers and posters on campus is generally limited to bulletin boards and kiosks. Your organization has access to post flyers and posters on campus. Please make sure to use the correct materials when posting your organization's flyers to avoid damage to university property. Do not post materials on the walls, doors, or in restrooms without written consent from a building manager. Also, the student organization that is posting it must be easily identifiable on all materials that are being posted. Six, chalking is allowed on campus as long as you are using a water-soluble substance, aka sidewalk chalk. Please read through the list of don'ts on this slide to better understand what you cannot do when it comes to chalking on Mizzou's campus. RSOs may obtain chalk from the organization resource group office. These six guiding principles assist members of the university community, students, faculty, and staff in understanding legal principles relevant to the exercise of the rights of free expression, free speech, and assembly, and protest on the campus of the University of Missouri. As a student organization leader, you hold the responsibility to be informed and educated on how to protect your organization from unnecessary potential and perceived risks. Effective risk management can help keep you and your organization members safe when planning events, holding meetings, and existing on campus. The PREF model is one that is easy to remember. This model helps RSOs cover their bases when it comes to thinking through the different kinds of risks, physical, reputational, emotional, financial, and facility risks could show up in a variety of ways depending on what your organization's goals and objectives are. In part two, we will cover how student organization leaders can reserve university facilities. Recognized student organizations have the ability to reserve university facilities free of charge or at a very reasonable rate. The use of university facilities should not imply an endorsement of any individual or group or organization, and the name of the university shall not be identified with any way with the aims, policies, and programs or products or opinions of any individual group or organization which may meet in university buildings or on university grounds in accordance with these regulations. Also, university buildings and grounds may not be used by recognized student organizations where members of that organization are receiving money slash profits from the organization's functions slash activities. All reservations must be made by either the main contact slash president, secondary contact slash vice president, 
or financial contact slash treasurer of the RSO. Reservations cannot be made if the RSO's engaged portal is out of date. Please be sure to cancel the reservation if you no longer need the space to ensure that staff do not waste their time and that another organization might be able to reserve it. There are two space reservation systems available on our campus, EMS and 25 Live. EMS is overseen by the Office of Reservations and Events and helps to reserve the Student Center, Memorial Union, Jesse Auditorium, Missouri Theater, and Mizzou Rec. When reserving these spaces, RSOs must abide by the union's policies and be held liable for cleanup and cancellation fees. All rooms come with a free pre-configured setup, and so most costs are incurred when that setup is changed or additional services are requested. In the EMS system, RSOs can request rooms up to six months in advance. The other space reservation system is 25 Live. 25 Live is overseen by the Office of the Registrar and helps to reserve academic buildings and outdoor spaces on campus. In the 25 Live system, RSOs can request spaces one semester at a time. Lastly, RSOs can also request the Gaines Oldham Black Culture Center through their website. Now this slide shows you the login page for the EMS system, which again is overseen by the Office of Reservation and Events. This slide shows you the login page for the 25 Live system, which is overseen by the Office of the Registrar. The third part of this training will talk about the resources available to recognize student organizations. MU Engage is the student organization management platform. All recognized student organizations have access to an organization portal. And on your organization's portal, you have the ability to complete the org funding process, advertise your organization's events, create forms, store internal files, and more. The Organization Resource Group provides funding to recognized student organizations through the Student Activity Fee. In order for recognized student organizations to be considered to receive this funding, they must attend an org finance training and submit a budget request by the designated deadline. More information about finance trainings, dates, and times can be found on the Organization Resource Group MU Engage page. Also, the Student Organization Allocation Committee are the people responsible for helping review and approve the budget requests submitted. Org funds can cover three different categories, which are travel, event services, and general expense. For more information about funding, please attend a finance training. Org has a variety of equipment that recognized student organizations can check out for free. We just ask that you treat the equipment nicely and pay to replace anything that you damage. Some of our more popular items include canopy tents, folding tables and chairs, Bluetooth speakers, and card swipe readers. You can reserve, reserve this equipment by either emailing us or coming into our office in the Center for Student Involvement. Org also fills office supply requests. RSOs can request any of the items on the screen through our MU Engage form, and the limits on the screen are per semester. So there's plenty of opportunities to get any office supplies that you might need. The Organization Resource Group also offers a screen printing service that is very beneficial to RSOs. The organization pays for the garments and the Organization Resource Group pays for the screen printing costs and royalties. There is a 12 shirt minimum order and 50 shirt maximum order limit and the recognized student organizations cannot sell the garments required through this service. Org also has office and storage spaces for RSOs to apply for. These applications for these spaces open up in the spring for the upcoming academic year. Org also has on-campus mailboxes for RSOs to apply for, and applications are accepted throughout the year for our mailboxes. These are great resources for organizations who are needing space to efficiently function. As recognized student organizations, you also have the access to student affairs, marketing, and communications. They can help with graphic design, logo creation, consultations, and more. And the best part is that using them is free. This takes you to their website where you're able to find more information about how to get their help. If the organization resource group doesn't have the equipment you're looking for, then you can always reach out to the Office of Reservation and Events for those items. If you're needing those more robust items for an event, then consider applying for funding within the organization resource group's event services category. Another great resource for recognized student organizations looking to bond with their members and build leadership training is Venture Out. 
Venture Out is Mizzou's high and low ropes courses where RSOs can do leadership retreats and fun outdoor activities. If you're wanting to use these services for your RSO, then consider applying for Venture Out funding within org's event services category. Your recognized student organization advisor is a great resource to have. Advisors usually have experience that can help your organization be successful. This upcoming academic year, org is hoping to provide more opportunities and resources for RSO advisors. Last part, I promise, let's talk about upcoming opportunities. Here on the screen are the 2022-2023 budget deadlines for org. If you're interested in receiving funding from org, please attend a finance training to learn more about these deadlines and how funding works. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. If you have any questions regarding the content in this training or anything else related to student organizations, please contact the organization resource group through any of the methods on the screen. If you'd like a copy of these slides for your records, please go to the useful links section of our MU Engage page and click administrative training slides. Thanks again, and we look forward to helping your RSO succeed at Mizzou.